Okay, what we're looking at here today is a bumblebee nest. Bumblebees, as you can see, are very robust. I'll try to get one in here. Very large uh, bees. You commonly see them uh, around flowers, but um, when you encounter them near their nests, they can get extremely defensive. And um, in this case, we have eradicated it. Um, we had dogs that were in threat of getting stung. The nest, as you see here, is made out of wax. And it has all kinds of cells in it. We classify these bees as colonial. They may not be related to each other, the individual females that are laying these wax cells, but uh, they will come out and attack as a group. It's much like apartment dwellers, I, I would think. Um, if you, as an apartment dweller, see that your neighbors are getting attacked, you may come out and attack as well. So there's individual cells in here, there's eggs, larvae, pupa that are developing. The female will bring uh, pollen and a rudimentary honey and she'll raise her young here. And these nests can get quite large with quite a few individuals, several hundred individuals. As you can see it falls apart right here in my hand. So it's not, it's loosely constructed. But um, this nest was built within the remains of a rodent nest, probably a rat nest, located underneath this deck in this void right here. We commonly find them in rodent nests or squirrel nests. So um, just a little background here. Just wanted to show you a little video of bumblebees. And uh, I know I'm going to face grief from people that are complaining that I'm killing these wonderful pollinators. Yes, I am killing them and I feel bad about it. But as you can see here, we have a yard where three do dogs inhabit and all it takes is one sting on an allergic dog from this nest located right here and that dog could die. In my mind, and in many experts' minds, it's better to go ahead and treat this nest, knock it down, and do other measures to encourage pollinator diversity, uh, encourage meadow planting, um, and in the case of bees that are located away from um, animals and uh, people, try to relocate them. Just be aware that the relocation process is stressful and we have a pretty low success rate. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed just a little bit about bumblebees and uh, to show this video. And this is Richard Martiniak, entomologist with allfloribeeremobile.com.